that when dragged into one prime will give you s one prime right will give you s as a function of time i don't care about the entire time i care just about, about the final time to be equal to se on the final time right do you agree that if you solve this problem it immediately gives you your u because everything has the same algebraic structure the four systems have the same algebraic structure the lee the, the, the combination of all Lie brackets of vector fields here G is the same as the combination of all Lie brackets of all vector fields here B is the same as all Lie brackets of these indeterminants X is the same as the all Lie brackets of these guys. They all have the same Lie algebraic structure. When you take infinite iterations of Lie brackets, actually they are not infinite, up to some k. If you took all the combinations of iterated Lie brackets, you end up with the exact same structure. So from Lie algebraic point of view, these are two identical worlds from the algebraic point of view. So the question now, do you agree that this U, or do you have any difficulty to understand that this U solves your problem, if you can solve it in this world? So uh, why they choose to do it here? Because it's much easier when working with polynomials, we can use algebra. Like we're going to do in the example. We, we, when we use the algebra, it's very easy. So how many steps do we have? How many steps do we have? One, extended system, get the v's please. Two, go here and get me the final point. Three, from the final point, let me the u's from here, okay? So one, I will do it in the extended system, and the, the, the last two steps, I will do it in this world, okay? So let's go and do it. But this is assuming that our system is extended by nature. What do you mean extended? Like you use of the that we can... You mean important? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Important, yes. Yes, I told you from the beginning that if it's not important, go and try to make it important. One of the homework problems will tell you how. If not, do it for an approximate important system. So example, and like I said, this is... Uh, yeah, it doesn't cover everything in the world. We actually start from a drift list from the beginning, right? So... Uh, Previously, we were dealing with more confined structures, like this guy is much more restrictive than this guy than here, right? Not much more, but it seems to be more restrictive because we're dealing with a specific structure here. I, mean, I don't care, actually. This is, a, and this is the, the strength of this method because it's generator-free. It just talks about convergence of inputs. When this input converges to that input, I don't care. In, in this whole theory, I never saw your G's. I never saw your G's. So it's, it's called generator free. Whereas here, I'm doing it for a specific G's, right? Previously, it's still using sinusoids. So let's do an example. We have time, hopefully. So. Uh, our usual example that we discussed last time, Q3 dot was two vector fields. Uh, this was uh, 1 and 0, 0 and 1, and this was something like negative Q2 and Q1. So this is G1 and this is G2. And uh, my knee brackets, G1, G2, was 0, 0, 2. And when you take uh, one more knee bracket with G1, This is completely vanishes, and this guy also completely vanishes. Okay, so that's very good. Why? Because now I'm nil potent of order what? Hmm. Order what? A Lie bracket containing three vector fields vanishes, so I'm nil potent of order two. I'm allowing you up to two vector fields, okay? So I have two vector fields, I have k equals two, I can get my basis, the basis is super easy, I'll do it for x and y, so this is x, y, and Lie bracket between x and y, 
you can write G1, G2, and the bracket between G1 and G2 if you if you like to work with the G's. But X's and Y's are better because they are uh, polynomials, and we can uh, multiply and do all the multiplications in the language of polynomials. Okay, so let's extend our system. This is step one. Step one. Extended system. This is super easy. Why? Because I'm going to add one more input corresponding to the Lie brackets that I use to satisfy the log. The log here is satisfied by the three vectors g1, g2, and Lie bracket g1, g2. I mean, in other problems, you may need more, so you're going to go and add all the Lie brackets that you need. So I have q dot is equal to v1, g1 plus v2, g2 as a system, as a dynamical system. And V3, a fictitious input that is corresponding to G1 and G2. Right? So uh, this is Q1 dot 2 dot 3 dot is equal to G1 was 1, 0, and negative Q2 or something. This is 0, 1, and the Q1. And the knee bracket was 0, 0, 2. This is multiplied V1, V2, V3. R here is equal to N, so it's nice to invert. I want to connect let's, uh, the example, let's uh, have some requirement for the example. So uh, we want to steer this guy from the origin to say 1, 2, 3, the point 1, 2, 3 in one second. Okay? So uh, let's construct, let's steer here, let's do the steering here. I want to steer from 0 to uh, 1, 2, 3 in one second. So, um, say, Q star of t, the curve that I'm going to construct, say it's t, 2t, 3t, right? So in one second, it will be 1, 2, 3, right? And in, 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 at the beginning, it's 0, 0, 0. Any question about that? Construct any differential curve you like. It's super easy. That connects the two points. And now I will substitute here. So this is Q dot is... Differentiate your uh, star, please. So this is 1, 2, and 3. And substitute your star here, please. So this is 1, 0. And negative Q2 is negative 2t. Okay? 0, 1, and the Q1 is t. 0, 0, 2. I have V1, V2, V3. And of course, I can invert it because by construction, these guys, they span the tangent space. The Rn, R3. So I can get the Vs of t, this will be, luckily, they should be a function of time, of course, for this particular problem. They are not, but it doesn't matter at all. They should be a function of time, and it's perfectly fine to be a function of time, okay? So I got the Vs, this is the easiest step. It's, it's, not, it's not hard at all. So uh, let's see how we do the other thing. Go. So what, what, what do we do? We go and apply this V to the polynomial. We go to apply to this system. S dot equals S times summation J equals 1, 2, R, B, J, B, J. I will apply this input as a polynomial input. Okay? And we'll do, so this is my extended thing, if you like. And I'm exploiting the following result. What's the result? Recalling that... Any S in this, whatever extended or not, any S is e to the h 3, b 3, I have 3 now, right? e to the h 2, b 2, e to the h 1, b 1. So any S indeed in my problem is e to the h 3 sometime, I don't know, it's an unknown time, times your third vector, which is the bracket between x and y or g1 and g2. E H2 times your Lie bracket or the second vector it was Y E H1 X. Any question so far? Any question please? Okay, so now I will I will apply or differentiate. So I'll use these two things. Let's differentiate. Let's do D by DT for my S. So uh, should it be like extended professor? Yeah, this is any S, whether it's extended or not. So if you want to add extended, that's fine. So it doesn't matter. So this is any S, whether it comes from... Yeah, this is very good point. This is very good point. And this is why we are able to do it. 
Why? Because I don't care where this S came from. I know that this S really comes from an extended system with more inputs and yada. I don't care. Any S can be written as flows along the brackets in the B whole basis. Period. Okay? And because the extended system and the actual system both have the same B algebraic structure, have the same B whole basis, so this is valid for both. So this is why I'm going to apply V, get S in this form, and the same formula allows you get to read U's, because it's, it's the same for both. So I don't, I don't want to write extended here now, because it's, it's really for both, okay? Whatever you like, if you like to write the extended it makes you more comfortable, that's fine. But let's focus here how we do it. So I'm applying here d by dt, here's d by dt, okay? For your s, so this is my s coming here. The first term, please pay attention here, the first term is exponential. I'm going to apply the definition of an exponential, which is 1 plus your polynomial h3 x and y, plus your polynomial squared, but I'm nil potent to order 2, so uh, this guy next vanishes. This is indeed 0. This is why the nil potency allows us to do a lot. So let's look at what is coming next. 1 plus this guy is here. H2y plus H2y squared. I'm nil potent to order 2. I'm allowing up to two vector fields or two entities. Plus, next will be cube, so this is zero because I'm nil potent of order two. Okay? So this is why the algebra, look here, it, the life is much easier here because I'm doing it with algebra. <coughs> so one plus h1x plus h1 squared over 2x squared and the next will vanish. The d by dt for this guy is equal to the same as so the same thing, I'll exactly copy them again. 1 plus h2y plus h2 squared, h2 squared, y squared, 1 plus h1x, h1 squared, x squared over 2, multiplied, I'm substituting this equation, right? So this is s multiplied with summation your b's and b's. So I have v1 times the first vector in the basis, so this is x, v2 times the second vector, which is y, V3 multiplied what? V3 multiplied what? The knee bracket. The knee bracket. So this is a very important formula. And if you construct it, I mean, the rest is super easy. Any question about constructing this formula? <coughs> I mean, one of the projects in this course you might want to try, the suggested project, is to make this uh, algorithm algorithmic. So, uh, you know, the difficulty that you will encounter is that our programming languages are not used to non-commutative things. You tell Mathematica or MATLAB that xy is not the same as yx, it's not always easy. Mathematica has the command asterisk for that, but not all the functions will be compatible with this. And I, I mean, it's not, it's not trivial. If you like it, you can pursue it as a project. I will talk about projects later. Let's uh, do this here. It's super easy. I'm going to equate coefficients between sides. <clears throat> so let's start with the x coefficient. So uh, let's do the x coefficient, please. So here is x. So just to get x, I need to multiply by 1 and 1, right? So the coefficient for x from the left hand side is d by dt h1. So this is h1 dot equals to from the left hand side. Here is x, so in order to get x alone, I need to multiply by 1 and 1, so uh, this should be v1. This is the first equation. I'll do the same with y, so this is y coefficient, which is super similar. So to get y only, this is y, I need to get the 1 and 1. So here you get h2 dot, please if you have any issues, stop me. Over there, if I need y, so I need to multiply by 1, 1, and 1. So this is simply v2. These are easy. Brother, you yes. have the h2 on the second parenthesis. Yes, very good, but uh, h2 here. Yes. Yeah, that's right. 
multiply one here, one here, that's okay, but over there, there are no ones, right? Yeah. You, very good. So uh, we need one more thing that's maybe purple or something. So uh, xy coefficient, remember, xy is not like yx, okay? So let's get the xy coefficient. So y is the right. So I will take, here I have some xy actually, right? Because this is xy minus yx. So I have h3 from here, so this is h3 dot. Can I get any xy from the left hand side? Well, uh, I have here minus y, x, I don't need it. Here I have y times x, I don't need it, right? So I'm, I'm done with x, y, x to the left. So let's go here and construct x, y. So here there is obviously x, y. So I, I, I got this. Here there is x, y. So I have, uh, so this guy multiplied, no, can't, because no, here can't, right? Really. So I will do this, very good. So here I have x, y, right? which will be multiplied 1, 1, and 1. So this is V3. I need another XY. You can take Y as the right and take X from somewhere else with the 1 and 1, right? Mm -hmm. So this is H1 times V2 and I'm done. The interesting thing is that this structure is always like this. It's always like, so this is H1 dot, H2 dot, H3 dot, right? It's some linear in the v1, v2, v3. So this is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, h1 and 1. So it's always like h dot equals a of h times v. And it's independent of the problem. It's very interesting. So whenever you have a structure like m is 2 and k is 2, don't do it again, please. It's always like this. It's independent of the problem. The thing that is dependent on the problem is Vs. Vs function of time depending on the curve that you constructed, and the solution will depend on the Vs. But this structure, you construct it for every combination of M and K. Okay? It's, it's fixed. So that is a very cool property. So now I have my Vs. I have my Vs where it was like 1, 2, or 1.5. And apply him, solve this differential equation to get ht, this is easy, t and this is 2t, and I guess this is t squared plus 1.5t. In particular, I don't care about this guy, I just care about the final point. So this is 1, 2, and what? This is 2.5, right? So this is h at t, which is t equals 1 second. You got the final point, so uh, I got here my S, how S is written. I got the H's, these are the coordinates, they call the P-hole coordinates. So I can write my S now, it's e to the 